Week eight, day one. Let's go. You, you got to let it go. You, you got to let it go. Day two, let's go. I'm here again and today we'll be talking about stomach vacuums. Let's go! So today we'll be talking about the topic stomach vacuums. This is not the vacuum that you use for cleaning your house. It's not that. Stomach vacuum, it's a legendary technique that uh, bodybuilders have been using for the past 10 years, 20 years, or maybe, I don't know, 30 years. This is stomach vacuum right here. Stomach vacuums are isometric exercises that you use your TVA or transverse abdominis. So for those people who don't know, what is it? This is like, like this. The reason why I choose this topic because this is very, very important for those people who wants to do exercise and wants to lift more, more weights or body weight trainings. This is very, very important and I think it might help you because it helped me. What do stomach vacuums do? Stomach vacuums build a solid posture and stability. It protects your body from heavy lift. It improves your core stability, especially if you're doing ab trainings. Stomach vacuum is a very easy exercise that you can actually do it any time of the day, anywhere. So your question is, how do I do stomach vacuums? It's very easy. You don't need a gym for this. You just need to tuck in your stomach and try to hold your breath for 30 seconds while your abs are engaged and then breathe out after 30 seconds you need to do this like three times and then yeah like every day if you do this every day definitely in one week it's gonna be different you're gonna feel different especially if you're doing exercises it will give you a very strong core here's the thing stomach vacuums will not give you yeah, just like I said, will not give you a six-pack abs and it will not burn fat without proper exercise. So that means you need to exercise and do stomach vacuums. Good news, the posture and stability will work for everyone. Even though you're chubby bunny or not chubby bunny, this will definitely work for you. Good posture and stability, you will see that when you sit. And when you when you do jogging, you will see your posture is totally different if you try to do the stomach vacuum. Quick tip, always do the stomach vacuum when your stomach is empty. And also, you can do stomach vacuums when you're lying down and when also when you're standing up. There is no specific way of doing this. And that is stomach vacuum. Week 8 of our exercise, I'm getting excited because we're almost finished with the challenge and I'm really excited for the result and the photo. I'm really excited for that and, and also I'm really excited because even though we're almost done with the exercise, we're still learning. But I'm hoping that uh, the next week will be more difficult because yeah, I think my muscle is getting used to the, used to the exercises. 
uh, that I'm doing so maybe I'll try to challenge myself next week and I'll try to to push myself more and yeah of course that's gonna be tough but it's gonna be exciting at the same time because no pain no gain so let's go and that is all for today if you're not part of the community please do me a favor click the subscribe button and if you like this video give me a thumbs up and if you want to say something or if you want to say hello or if you have any comment on the video on the editing or anything that you want to say negative positive feedback i will accept that on the comments down below and always remember everything is possible let's go Oh, 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 o